Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be looking at long multiplication using a formal written method. And first on to question one, which is 226 multiplied by three. So we only have the unit to multiply this time. So we do three times six is 18, eight units and carry the 110 over. Then we do three lots of the two, which is the 20, which is six plus the one down here, which is seven, that's 70. And then finally three times the two in the hundreds column, which is 600 for a final answer of 678. And next we're on to question two, which is 867 multiplied by five. So exactly the same again. I'm going to multiply by this unit here, which is five units. That's five times seven first, which is 35. Carry the three for the 30 into the tens column. Then five lots of six, which are 30, plus the three, which is 33. Carry the three into the hundreds column. And then finally, five lots of eight are 40, plus the three at the bottom, 43 for a final answer of 4,335. And next one to question three, which is 45 multiplied by 51. Now for this, we're going to need an extra row because we're now multiplying by the units and by tens. So if I take those back, first of all, we're going to multiply by the units here. So that's one times five is five. One times four or one times four, 40 is 40. That's our units completed. Then we move on to the tens column. Now, because we're multiplying by 50 and not just five, we need to put in a magic zero first. That means everything becomes 10 times bigger. So first of all, Five times five is 25, carry the two over. Five times four is 20, plus the two is 22. And then we add the two together. Five plus zero is five units. Four tens and five tens and nine tens. 200 by itself and 2000 by itself for a final answer of 2295. And finally, we're going to look at question four which is 94 multiplied by 33. Lots of colors going on here, but hopefully this will help separate the different parts and different aspects of the question. So like before, first we're going to multiply by the units column. So that's three times four, which is 12. Carry the one into the tens. Three times nine, which is 27, plus the one here, so that's 28. That's the units completed. Then we're going to move on to the tens column. And again, because we're multiplying by 30 and not just three, we need to place a magic zero in the units column. That makes everything 10 times larger. So that's three times four, is 12, carry the one into the hundreds. Three times nine is 27, plus the one, so that's 28, and then we're going to add them together. Two plus zero is two units. Eight tens and two tens are 10 tens, so carry into the hundreds. We have 200 plus 800, which is 1,000, plus the extra one down here, 1,100. So we carry the 1,000 into the thousands, and then finally, we have 2,000 plus 1,000 is a final answer of 3,102. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.